Welcome to the Geeks Attic. This is a book review of Casino Royale. Casino Royale was written by Ian Fleming. This is the first 007 James Bond novel. Now, you're going to have to forgive me for mispronouncing names and locations because, you know, I don't speak French or Russian or any of that stuff. So, forgive me. Now, let's go ahead and dive into a brief summary before we get to some characters and my overall thoughts. There's going to be a high-stakes game played at the Casino Royale in France. Now, this guy, Le Chefri, the financial paymaster of a USSR intelligence organization, has been mishandling the agency's funds. Well, Le Chefri thought that he would build up his own wealth by investing the organization's money on brothels, which did not work. So, he's desperate to pull out of debt and clean up his mistakes uh, by gambling at the Casino Royale. So, if Le Chefri fails, he knows that the organization he works for, Smersh, will kill him. The Secret Intelligence Service of England has sent their best gambler, a double-O agent, James Bond, to face off against Le Chiffre. Now, the goal here is to have the enemy lose at the tables. With this victory, uh, the funds of Smersh will be limited, and in turn, they will kill Le Chiffre. Does James Bond pull off a victory at the casino tables, or does Le Chiffre expose Bond for who he is and get away scot-free? You should have to read the book to find out. So let's talk quickly about some characters. Now, with this being the first 007 book, I'm going to mention James Bond, and we'll talk about Le Chiffre. 007 is a double O agent of the SIS, or Secret Intelligence Service of England. Now, in order to become a double O agent, one must be willing to kill for their country, and James Bond has killed a couple people in order to get the double O status. Now, he's very good at his job. He takes it very seriously. It's a matter of life or death in the occupation of spy. He's a splendid gambler. He likes to take risks. Unintentionally, he lets his guard down a few times, which makes him very vulnerable. Now, he's a heavy smoker and a womanizer. He is Bond, James Bond. So let's talk about Le Chiffre. Now, he is the financial paymaster of the French Workmen's Union, controlled by a Russian organization known as Smersh. He's a crummy man with a wild lifestyle. He isn't in the best of shape when it comes to finances or in health. He has to use an inhaler sometimes. Now, he's got two loyal bodyguards and a very dark, evil side to him. So let's go ahead and dive into my overall thoughts. I was absolutely thrilled with Casino Royale. I never really thought I'd read a James Bond novel, but some friends of mine kept on and on about it, and I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead, I'll do it, I'll read a 007 book. Um, my first exposure to James Bond was the Nintendo 64 game, Goldeneye. I absolutely loved that game, and I have to say, it's still probably one of the best games ever made. Uh, in 2020, I watched the first film, Dr. No, and I enjoyed it. So then, the next step was to read a book, Casino Royale, the first book. I read it in just a few days. And I loved it. Ian Fleming wrote a fantastic book here with Casino Royale. He created an iconic character. Now, at first I was thinking when I started reading, um, how am I going to find this interesting? I don't know anything about gambling. I've never really explored any, like, spy novels or movies or anything like that. Uh, yet, I was glued to the pages. I absolutely loved it. Everything was explained very well. There's, like, this appendix, the beginning of the book, where James Bond's going over... His mission, it goes over the villain, it describes everything in detail, right up front, which was very helpful. So that was awesome. Uh, there were a few parts that I actually audibly gasped. I smiled, I got goosebumps, I was surprised. The plot was written very well. I was able to follow along with the story. You know, spy stuff sometimes you just go over your head. The gambling stuff, I thought, ah, ugh. But it worked. The tension throughout the story was held very high. It held my attention, and the pages just, I just kept turning them. I loved what I read. So I believe through Bond's ignorance, he actually learned quite a bit about life and how the line between good and evil could shift from a hard edge to something very blurry. The organizations were set up perfectly. They were very interesting. I, I really want to dive deeper into all of these Bond books and see how this all unfolds, if they all connect together. Uh, Smersh, the Russian organization that hunts down traitors and loose ends, is cold and brutal. Some of the interactions that we get with that group in this story were just incredible. It, it just blew my mind. Uh, so, this book was very fun to read. That it, it really was. So do I recommend that you read Casino Royale, the first James Bond book? The answer is yes. So when it comes to the rating, I will give this book an A+. Well, that's going to do it for this book review. Remember to check me out across all social media at The Geeks Attic. Have a good one. <laughs>